Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Munch's Odyssey. Today we are taking on No Mud's Land, a place infested with sligs, and it is extremely depressing to look at. Jeez. Yuck. Okay, careful guys. Splinter's security is now on full alert. They've brought in tons of explosives and an elite team of sligs to protect the property. Well, I don't see how, but you just gotta get the splinters and force those gluckins to donate their moolah to Lulu. Happy goings. As our friend there said, the security in this level is, eh, let's just call it a little tight. A little much. The level is uh, split into two halves. The part we're in now is called the Gorge. Well, at least that's what I call it, because, well, it's a gorge. Or small canyon. And the second half is the entrance to... What is it? Splinters? Yeah, it's Splinters. I think it's Splinters. Anywho. Yeah, it's Splinters. Um... So, yeah. The first half, the canyon, is... I think it's intended to either A, go through as Abe, just drop all these bombs on the sligs. You know, all the bombs regenerate so it's easy. Uh, there are four little sections in the gorge where you can do that, or you can run through as Munch and just shock them all. There is a zap vendo. But I won't be doing either of those things, because if you just go ahead and sneak all the way over here, you'll find the easiest way to complete the level. This big bro slig over there in the distance. Where you can just plow through all the sligs and cut the playtime of this level in half. First, let's get rid of this. There we go. That'll just make it easier later. So, let the mowing begin. UPS! Oh, this is her- ah! You're dead, friend. You're all dead. I wasn't the UPS guy at all. Housekeeping! <laughs> well, I did just take out the trash. Oh, that joke has never been made before! I just gotta make sure I don't step on mines, because I need this guy. Alright, next door. Um, Strippergram! Do, do, do you just, like, legit not care that I just murdered your friend in cold blood? Maybe if I insult you. What'd you say about my mama? Oh, hell no! Nah. Hey, hey, back off. I can't shoot you if you're close to me. Because of my gigantic muscles, I can't reach! Anyone else remember that episode of uh, Fairly Odd Parents where, like, oh, um, um, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, witness this! Yeah, anyone else see that episode of Fairly Odd Parents where, like, uh, I don't know, I guess it was all based on movies and Jorgen von Strangle was. I don't know, he somehow, like, captured Cosmo and Wanda, and he made himself, like, super muscly to the point where he couldn't reach his face where a cat was thrown at it. That scene sticks to me to this day. It, it just kills me. Ah, my muscles! I can't reach! <laughs> what if it's a real issue? It must be. It was in a cartoon. It must be real. And... Yeah, that's it for Jorgen here. See ya! And he exploded. Good for you, Jorgen. Jorgen? I don't know. Guess it depends on the area you're in. Okay, next up, what we're gonna do... Hmm. I think I did things a little out of order, but I think we can still salvage it. Alright. Okay, yeah, you just straight up died. I thought you'd survive that so I can use you a little more. Oh, well. There are more sligs. Two, three, four, five. 
Ooh, but do these guys have guns? But yeah, this is the, uh, the middle section. Obviously, it, uh, connects the first and second sections. That's how it works. Ooh, you do have a gun. Thank you. And it's pretty easy to get through. Just, you know, shoot the bombs, shoot the slings. Easy peasy. Connect the dots. I'll shoot that for no reason. Here we go. Got you all to myself, sir, and you're done. And I believe that's the last slig. Yes? Yes. Die. Just die. And just like that, we have cut the playtime of this level in half. Alright, first things first, let's get Munch going. No, all we gotta do is get Munch through the through the gorge here. Shouldn't be too long. Might even skip ahead, not sure. I'll keep talking in case I don't. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna keep uh, Munch in the wheelchair. Have Abe run through here really quickly. And then we'll have Munch speed run his way through. In his wheelchair. Alright, just one more and Munch will be free. Alright, now we quickly switch to Munch. Go in place, go in place, go in place, and let's go! Ooh, this might be cutting it close. Ooh, very close. Ah, I missed the last door. Well, we were close. Nope. Get. There you go. Uh, just get up on this rock to get up on this cliff. Get up onto that thing. Alright, we just take our little shortcut through here. And here. To get Munch freed, yeah. All right, let's see. What do I have to do at this point? At this point, I just have to collect some spoose, and there's a water well that I have to open up for Munch. I did do a practice run of this level because at this point in the game, I might do it more regularly now. At this point in the game, the levels get very, very long. So I just want to do a practice run just for a couple of the levels, not all of them. I just want to do practice runs for those levels, you know, just so we don't have like hour-long episodes. That would be bad. I mean, I could edit, but if my recordings go on for like more than an hour, then I'm just... God, I'm just out. Couple more spoosh rubs for me. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oop, oh, hold on a second. There appears to be a mosquito on my television. Yeah, I'm here, you little bastard. Oh, you're a spider. My foe has been vanquished. Yay, anyway, 99 spoosh rubs. God damn, that's expensive. Uh, and that will be used by Munch later. Uh, let's just get a couple shrubs going here. Two, three. Hey man, you got some shrub? Got some spoos? Smoke spoos every day. I think spoos dog is probably my proudest creation. I, God, I just love that. I want to use it any chance I get. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's more over here. I wasted my time. My time and yours. Alright, let me think this through. Okay, we're gonna be going into section two, which is the entrance to splinters. It is horrible. Alright, I believe you have a gun. Right? If you do, that'd be very handy. Nah, I don't think you do. Hmm. Alright, so what I'm gonna do then... Let's just get through here. There's a certain thing I have to do towards the end here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this entrance, run back, get the door open just long enough to get a chant orb through, and possess another slig.
Yeah. Herp. And derp. There we go. Uh, can I get it back open with this? Wow, I turned it red and it went on. That's... odd. Alrighty. Let the plan commence! Do 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 I wanna go ahead and skip over you. Hey, that rhymes! I love the sound effects they chose for the for the chant orbs. Very tantalizing. Alrighty then. Wait, do I want you? Do I want someone smaller? Eh, uh, well, I got you now, so I may as well use you. Oh yeah, here he is. This is our first little slig with gigantic gun. Let's see if we can get a look at that. That gun is like half the size of his body. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but. Damn, it's the same gun that my guy's holding. Look at that, just side by side. That's goofy. He runs all doofy too, it's hilarious. Alright, that's the door I needed opened. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it, okay. Now I don't need to kill all of these guys, which is good. Now, next, I think we need, yep, we need this door open, which is going to require Munch. Come along, Munchie. Oh, Munchie Mao. Yep, get in there. Good for you. Okay, now to have Krunk here pull the lever. And then our... Brutal conquest through here begins. It's also a very good idea to get Munch out of here as soon as possible, because these guys... I don't know how, but they will find him and they will kill him. It's happened several times. Not a single one around, but they inevitably find him. So I'll keep him here. Out of everyone's view. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna use the full eight. Why not? Shit. Someone didn't think this through. All right, I'll collect spoofs. See you guys in a second. Look at the way he runs. Eee! Oh, he's just adorable. Okay, so first order of business. Brutal Massacre. I, I think one of our friends there got stuck in the door. Whoa, whoa! Um... Oh, wait, nope, can't get it review. Gotta get rid of you. Alright, I just want to address this. What happened with this guy? Can we get a replay of that? How did you... I mean... How... Can you respond? Hey, Bugly, pass off. You can! Okay, well, I'll just shoot you then. Alright, he's... Permanently stuck on the other side. Okay, I'll get him later then. All right, here we go, big bro. That'll be a little more difficult, I think. No, not really. We're evenly matched. He's just slower. Oh, damn, this thing kills him fast. Oh, wow, I'm like completely out of the range of vision. This is genius. I love this. All right, well, it's a good thing the sligs are very short-sighted. Oh, it looks like I'm shooting one up in the corner there. Oh, you see, this guy knew to come after me. Why didn't the other two? 
Are the armored ones blind or something, or? What's the deal with that? Okay, well, you're going down. And you're going down. And there's our friend that got stuck on the fence. I found that glitch very offensive. <laughs> oh, I'm not funny. Hey, friend. Oh, well, he's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and kill you. See what I mean? There's like thousands of these things in here. Probably closer to a dozen. Little off. I can use hyperbole, damn it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and kill y'all. Is there any more? Are there any more? Grammar, important. Hey, Munch. Munch, don't give a fuck. I believe that's all we need. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now we can just run through. There's a little shortcut over here. Do do do. Alright, just kinda yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, hello. Copyright. Copyright gave me vertigo. Now I killed the one on the right, yes? Yes, good. Get rid of him. So let's just get rid of you. Oh. Uh, no, you're supposed to... You're, you're supposed to fall down. Hang on, I need, I need to pick you up. Come here. Just need to... Just need to grab your butt here. You're a cold mechanical butt. Uno, dos, tres. And explode! Good for you, fella. Oh, that's right, we're supposed to go in this well. Hey, oh my god, you're here! Well, that's one bet I'm happy to have lost. Anyway, now get into splinters and squeeze some profits. Ho <laughs> ho, I'll squeeze his profits, all right. All the homo. All right, so we do this, and there we go. They get a little bit trickier with how to activate the uh, how to activate the portals in this level. I like that. I like that. It was so close, yet so far. And for my final trick, getting Munch over there. Impressed? Neither am I. So yeah, that was no Mud's Land. Exciting. Kinda. We get to murder a shit ton of slugs. that's always fun. I remember I freaking hated this level when I was a kid. I don't know, I, I guess it just wasn't too bright. I didn't really know how to get through the level too well. <laughs> I always did the thing with uh, dropping the bombs and the slugs, which made it last like, you know, an eternity. Eh, well. Boiler room. The boiler. And that was it for No Mud's Land. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Munch's Odyssey. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff if you did. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on the boiler room. Probably, honestly, one of the more visually cool levels. I mean, even though it's an industrial level that's all indoors and gray and stuff, it's really cool looking. I'll see you guys then.